For the CHBr3 Lewis structure, carbon has four valence electrons, hydrogen has one, bromine has seven, but we have three bromines, and that gives us 26 valence electrons for the CHBr3 Lewis structure. Hydrogens will always go on the outside of a Lewis structure, and then we look at carbon and bromine. Well, carbon is the least electronegative, so we're going to put the carbon at the center, we'll put the H on one side, and then we'll put the bromines around it. We have 26 valence electrons for the CHBr3 Lewis structure. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used eight valence electrons. And then we'll go around the bromines to complete their octets or until we use 26 valence electrons. So we have eight, 10, and 26 valence electrons. So we've used all the valence electrons for the CHBr3 Lewis structure. Hydrogen has two valence electrons, so its outer shell is full. Each of the bromines has eight valence electrons, so we've satisfied the octets for the bromine atoms, and in the center of the carbon atom, it has eight valence electrons as well. So that's the Lewis structure for CHBr3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.